everyone, it is Sunday, December the 8th, and I am uh, studying for my exams that I have coming up next week. The first one is tomorrow. It's cardiology, and um, I just thought that I'd take you along with what exam week looks like for me this week. Um, so I'll be kind of taking you through different parts and we'll be able to show you my exams because uh, they take all of our phones and like label them with our student ID numbers. I'm a little bit nervous because I always get a little bit nervous for exams, but I think I'll be fine. Um, so right now I'm just going through some practice questions and uh, all of my lecture slides and I'm gonna do a couple of practice questions now. So I'll generally set a timer for the amount of time I wanna spend per question, knowing that there's, let's say, five questions on the exam and the exam is 50 minutes long. So I would divide that into 10 minutes per question. So I'd practice doing questions in 10 minutes. That way um, I know how much I can write and how much and what I want to prioritize, things like that. So it's the morning of the big exam. Um, I've just hopped out of the shower. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. The exam starts at nine, which means that I can get a good couple of hours of just final revision, eat some breakfast, that kind of stuff. So, um, so the way that our exams work is that over the course of the semester, we've done three different modules. And at the end of each module, we had a smaller exam. And then now at the end of the year, we have our big exam. I'm sure it's gonna be fine, I feel prepared, but I'm, but I'm also also sure that there's things that I've not revised up as much on as I could have. And the problem, the problem is that sometimes you don't know what those things are until you get in the exam and you're like, darn it, I really wish that I knew this a little bit more. I'm sorry if I look tired, guys. It's been a long week. So we're walking to the exam. It's chilly today, it's very chilly today. Hopefully it goes well. grocery shopping after um, it went fine there were a couple of really tricky questions um, some some things that some things that I think are a little questionable but I mean there's nothing I can do to change it there's nothing I can do um, I've written what I've written and that's gonna that's gonna be the way it is all I can do now is just move on and study for the next one there's two more this week so just got to be prepared Now we're kind of reviewing stuff for respiratory, which is our next exam. That's on Wednesday. Um, so right now I'm going over uh, cystic fibrosis and all of the stuff that goes along with that. Medications, indicators for transplant, modulators of uh, the CFTR gene. So this is kind of what the rest of the night's going to look like. Tomorrow is going to be a full day of studying RESP. And then we'll have the exam. Yeah, we found out that today's exam was a little bit different than what we were expecting. Uh, we thought it was 40 MCQs, but actually it was 60. Um, and then we, were we, th we thought we were supposed to get a break in between the first written paper and the MCQ, but the break ended up getting scrapped, so we just ended up going all the way through. Um, and then the, the short note paper was what we expected it to be. It was three short note questions in the CPC. It was just the number of um, MCQ questions that we were confused about in the breaks. They gave us tea in between our breaks this year, which was nice. We didn't get tea in between our breaks last year. So that was very nice. I enjoyed that very much. Hey guys, so I thought that I should just show you what I'm having for dinner on this Tuesday night. I'm um, getting ready for my exam, taking a quick study break to eat some grilled cheese sandwiches. They're delicious, and um, I'd like to say that I don't eat like this all the time, but during exams, eating quickly is more important than eating nutritiously. A great food on the fly, so. Good morning, it's Wednesday morning. It is 8 a.m., but we've been up since about six. Um, got up, showered, ate breakfast, and I've been studying for the past little bit for the RESP exam today. Just trying to make use of every every moment right now. I'm doing um, reviewing measles, mumps, and rubella, um, specifically measles. So just gotta get through it. I'm feeling really sleepy. I'm really excited to um, get some sleep after this. I'm gonna take a nap. So 
so it's Tara here. Just got out of my RESP exam, now I'm heading home to cook some lunch. That was an adventure of an exam, let me tell you. Um, everyone kind of agreed that it was, it was a really tough exam. I think I did okay, um, but we're gonna, you know, you leave it all on the page and you kind of see how it goes. But I felt prepared, but then it was the, it was all very strange. Like it would seem that the exam material didn't always focus on what the majority of the course was taught on, which is very strange. And then like we had two five numbered scores and it's like, ah, which one is it? Both of them are used for this thing. So I know I got those mixed up. I know there's ones I got wrong, but you have to live with not being able to know everything. And then sometimes the questions are so open-ended that you don't know like what the like question writer is wanting from you which is hard so you just kind of write everything kind of hoping that something that you put down applies so it's like i know a lot about copd but this is a very open-ended question i don't know exactly what you're looking for so that's a challenge also i'm the kind of person where i tend to run cold and the room we were doing our exam in this morning when we got there was freezing. It's like, if I can't move my hand, how am I supposed to do this exam? The ideal lunch, I think, for exams is a grilled cheese sandwich because I can cook it really fast. I can make as many of them as I'm hungry for, as long as I still have the ingredients. And like, it's just, it's simple, it's easy. There's not a lot of, thinking involved, I can use all of my brain space and my like capacity for being a person on studying and very minimal on what I'm eating. So grilled cheese sandwich it is, as long as I don't have to think about it, as long as all of my thought and attention can be put into studying and whatever's happening next, that's important. Just gotta get ready for GI, all of that lovely GI stuff. Okay, so I haven't picked up my phone to talk to you guys really all day because I've been focusing on my exam tomorrow, but now that I have just a moment, uh, I thought I'd talk to you guys. So, um, our exam tomorrow is the last one of the semester, and it is a GI and hepatology, which means that it's basically all of your GI tract plus your like accessory organs of digestion, so your uh, liver, gallbladder, pancreas, all that fun stuff. Um, so we're doing all of that study right now. Good morning. It's the day of the micro exam. On uh, this week's episode of Who micro Wants exam. to Be a Doctor? It's the micro exam. Oh, it's the GI exam. I'm gonna study micro this morning, but it's the GI exam. My goodness. I think I'm losing my mind. So exams are done, woo, woo, I am so excited. Uh, we are getting ready to go to the uh, Dublin Christmas market. Uh, I have some quick stuff I have to film, um, but it's gonna be like, uh, I'm so excited. I fly out for Christmas vacation tomorrow. So I'm gonna hop in the shower, uh, just get, my, get the rest of my day going. I'm so excited, so, so happy to be done, woo. Um, be sure to like this video, uh, subscribe, comment what you liked about seeing my whole exams process. So we're supposed to be meeting our friends at Dublin Christmas at the castle, but they're late. So we're gonna try and find somewhere to warm up really quick um, and then meet them. Cause it's freezing outside today, even though we're going to Wisconsin tomorrow. So then it'll be really freezing outside. Where have you been? Where? I'm oh, sorry, it's a video. Fian. <laughs> be so this is my friend Bahar, and we've perused all of the various food stands and have decided on the handsome burger for dinner. I'm getting a, a B.O.B. I'm getting the handsome burger, for what it's named. Post finals, post finals fatty food. Oh, this is 
necessary. Necessary. <laughs> okay, so we got our burgers. And they are absolutely delicious. Like, look at that. It is so good. So, so good. These are all my friends. We got Neha, Mari, Bahar, and Anna. And we are gonna go on this lovely carousel behind us. It is so beautiful. We're starting, we're starting, we're starting. Say that again. 